Proposition 61, the Drug Price Standard Initiative, would enact a new California law, the California Drug Price Relief Act. Here's what the law would do. It provides that the state of California, as a drug purchaser, will not pay more for prescription drugs than the Veterans Administration pays for those same drugs. That's the entirety of the substantive part of Proposition 61. The problem with it is it's very hard to figure out how much anybody pays for drugs because drug pricing, like pricing throughout the healthcare system, is uncertain, unclear, opaque in every way. There is virtually no transparency in drug pricing as there's no transparency in healthcare pricing throughout the market. Uh, thus, it's going to be hard to compare the amount California pays and the amount the VA pays, even though the proposition itself that uh, determines that in considering the price, the state should consider all drug price credits, all drug price benefits, all drug price rebates, any discounts that are included. All of those have to be determined, all have to be included in determining the price, but in fact, those are very hard to discover. It's going to be hard to know what the consequences of this initiative will be also. It may well be that California pays less than the VA now for these medications. And if that's the case, obviously this proposition will not change anything. But it may be that California pays more than the VA pays now, and that could lead to several alternative consequences. For one thing, um, California might just pay less. It may be that the drug companies will sell their pharmaceuticals to California at the same price they sell them to the VA, and California will pay less. But it may be that the drug companies simply refuse to sell to California at that lower price, and California may not be able to provide those medications to people who need them who are having their drug prices paid by the state. It might also be that the drug companies simply increase the price of their uh, uh, prescription pharmaceuticals enough to cover the profit they're losing as a result of the California statute. And it could be, finally, that the drugs will go directly to the benchmark price, which remember is the Veterans Administration price, and simply charge more to the VA so they can then charge more to the state of California for that same medication. If you vote yes on Proposition 61, you are asking the state of California to boldly venture forth in this new way to try to control the price of medications and thus the price of health care within the state. If you vote no on 61, you'll be asking the state not to try this untested, highly bureaucratic way of controlling drug prices in California.